This year has a few more exciting things in store, said Apple CEO Tim Cook at a recently just completed Apple earnings event a few days ago. Apple doesn't like to disclose what their plans are for the future. They like to, you know, hype things up and surprise the general public. So for Apple CEO Tim Cook to come out and say this, you know, it means that there's a lot of exciting things for sure in store for this year still. So far, 2020 has been different and at the moment it's for the wrong reasons but looking on the positive side though this is the year that apple is going to be transitioning to apple silicon max at least the first bunch of apple silicon max are going to be released this year this is not a rumor this is what apple themselves said and they confirmed this and the event is coming up very soon now according to john prosser who has a track record that is over 85 percent from over hundreds of uh, apple rumors that he's re released he mentioned that the apple mark silicon event is supposed to take place on the 17th of november on the 3rd of november it's election day in the u.s and if you go to the 11th of november it's actually veterans day and on the 25th of november it's thanksgiving day so you don't want an event that is too early or too late so the 17th of november seems to make sense and apple usually like to hold events on a tuesday so this date makes sense as of now and john pross actually went even further to mention that the invitations for this event they are going to be sent out on the 10th of november so as early as just a few days from now we could be seeing the invitations to the apple silicon event which is going to be the first ever apple silicon event when it comes to the mark as with regards to which marks or which devices we could see at this apple silicon event we just recently got macOS pixel 11.0.1 beta 1 and it contains reference code that mentioned three distinctive unreleased marks all set for release in 2020 there are files related to the 2020 16 inch macbook pro the 2020 13 inch macbook pro and the 2020 27 inch imac now before this has actually happened where macOS code has sort of hinted at a future release when it comes to the 16 inch macbook pro which we saw last year so it happened and it you know suggested that we were going to get a 16 inch macbook pro in 2019 and guess what we did get a 16 inch macbook pro in 2019 so these are some of the devices that we could see but you never know just because these codes were interpreted to depict three different things apple can change things it could be three different codes depicting three different models or it could be three different codes all depicting the same model which is going to be perhaps one apple silicon mark you never know but it's almost time and we are going to find out pretty soon now with regards to the chip or processor that is going to be powering these mac silicon devices at this time for the macbooks it seems likely that they are going to have an a14x bionic chip which is going to be a variant of the iphone and the ipad chip that we have so a14x bionic for the macbooks and then when it comes to the imac china time who is an accuracy rate of 77 percent suggested that an a14t chip could be coming for the imac and also an apple design gpu chip so that's sort of what we expect according to some rumors and sources also we could be seeing the airport studio at least being mentioned as john prosser mentioned that these have sort of been delayed there's like hiccups when it comes to the production of these airports pro but we could be seeing perhaps the announcement of the airpods pro studio and then maybe a release date that is going to be you know different from the apple silicon event but at a future event it could be this year or later on next year we could also be seeing an improved apple tv with an improved processor and also an improved chip to handle graphics as apple tries to venture more into the gaming sections it's also something that's in the air and also unfortunately the same thing is happening when it comes to air tags some sources are saying that we will be seeing it this year others are saying that it's that you know it's not related to the apple silicon 
an event and production for these things is also delayed so it's something that's in the air and we might see it this year or perhaps next year now when it comes to what we can sort of expect from these apple silicon mats when it comes to power and optimization if you take for example this uh, macbook pro that i have here it is an intel processor and i'm not gonna lie when it comes to single core work it does like amazing it's fantastic but however when you go to multi-threaded workloads or multi-core processes this device heats up like super crazy so that slows down the device and just in comparison to this if you were to look at the ipad pro when you are doing video editing it handles you know 4k streams like crazy it can be two streams of 4k it just handles them like super easy like it's nothing but when it comes to intel based marks they tend to suffer when it comes to that multi-threaded workload if you were to compare you know the ipad pro that is here it has an 8 core gpu that is clocked at 2.4 gigahertz and it comes in at around 800 dollars in contrast if you wanted a similar mac that had you know the same 2.4 gigahertz and 8 core you'd have to go with the top of the line macbook pro and that is just for the bottom of the range i9 the higher you go the more it's going to cost you so you can see how well you know apple devices in this case the ipad pro does when it comes to video editing or multi-threaded workloads so imagine that same chip being tweaked could be even tweaked at a higher clock rate and being put in perhaps a 13 inch macbook pro or even being put in a 16 inch macbook pro that is going to be a very powerful device and optimization is going to be amazing if you look at the ipad pro you can leave it down for like a day without using it and you almost find it as the same battery percentage that you left it at but if you do the same for a macbook that has an intel processor chip you definitely find that the battery has drained substantially so i can't wait especially when it comes to the power and the optimization for these apple silicon based macs and they're getting so much love from the internet i mean they're getting so much hype as the event gets closer and closer and hopefully they live up to their standard according to what the people want and what the people are demanding from these new apple silicon based marks so basically that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe down below and stick around as we have a lot of mac os big Sur 11 content coming your way and a lot of more content with regards to these new apple silicon marks other than that stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace